Year 12 is the most important school year out of the whole educational system. Like, you, like how you perform in year 12 determines what universities you can apply to. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you fail, if you do bad in these mocks, right? And let's say, let's say you get predicted BBB. That automatically eliminates the majority of Russell Group universities that you, that you can apply to. YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Spencer, man. So today, today's video is just going to be on what would you be doing right now in January if you're in year 12, alright? Obviously, right, I've received a lot of questions about this and and yeah, I just thought I should make a video on it, alright? Number one, I can't make this video without saying this, right? Obviously, i got my notes right here. But the first thing you should be doing in year 12 in January is p preparing for your marks in the summer like you have to actually you have to actively be revising everything that you've been doing since, since September in order to destroy the marks in summer year 12 is the most important school year out of the whole educational system like you, like how you perform in year 12 determines what universities you can apply to you know what i'm saying so that's why tip that's why tip number one is simply you have to be revising consistently everything that you've been doing from september onwards so that you destroy the marks so that you destroy the marks in summer like if you if you fail if you do bad in these marks right and let's say let's say you get predicted bbb that automatically eliminates the majority of Russell group universities that you, that you can apply to like if you get bbb you can't apply to Cambridge, Oxford, Imperial, LSE, UCL. Maybe you can't apply to UCL, I don't know. But you can't apply to the top universities if you get BBB. Like year 12 is actually important. Because, because if you do bad in these marks, then your A-level predictions are probably going to be low. Like, let's say in your summer marks, right, you get BBB. The highest that you, you could possibly be predicted is AAA. I mean, if AAA, you can't, you can't even apply to Oxford or Cambridge. So yeah, these marks in summer are actually very important. And that's why year 12 is the most important school year. You know what I'm saying, G? So yeah, tip number one is simply, you have to be revising and you have to keep in your head that you have to, you have to get at least AAA in these marks in the summer marks you have to get at least AAA at least 3 A's cause then if you get 3 A's then you're, you're probably going to be predicted 3 A stars and that allows you to apply to any universities that you want to and you always want to have the the abundance of like being able to apply to any to any university you know what I'm saying G so yeah, tip number one is simply you need to be revising and and you have to keep in your head that you have to, you have to destroy the summer marks. Cause like I said before, if you do, if you do bad, it's over. You have to get at least AAA in the summer marks. At least AAA so that so that you're so that you're in the, the most comfortable position of like being able to apply to any university, right? 
Because I know people that messed up. That messed up in like the mocks, right? They got like ABB. And they wanted to apply to Oxford. But because they got ABB in their mocks, their school predicted them AAA. And so they couldn't, they could, and so they couldn't apply to Oxford. Because Oxford grade requirements are A star AA. So yeah, bro. So yeah, to avoid being in that same position, keep in your head that you have to destroy the mocks in June, May. When I, whenever your mocks are, you have to destroy them. You have to, you have to put everything into those mocks because your A level predictions are literally the most important factor. Tip number two. From January onwards, you should be doing all the supercurricular activities that you want to include in your personal statement. From Gen for, I mean, preferably, it would be from September. But right now, we're in January. So from January on, from now onwards, you should be doing all of your super, supercurricular activities. And like, I, like I've said in previous videos, Supercurricular activities are, are things that you do in your spare time to say, to tell universities that, to tell universities how and why you're interested in the subject. And supercurricular activities can come in the form of articles, attending lectures, all of that, right? The reason why you should be doing these from January onwards is because in the in the later part of in the later part of year 12 you need to be revising for your marks and so you're not going to have enough time to do your to, to, you're not going to have enough time to balance your supercurricular activities alongside your marks alongside revising for your marks and then couple that with other things like going to the gym as well you won't be able to balance all of that. So right now, while you still have time, you should be doing your supercurricular activities. Especially if you're if you're planning to apply to like top universities like Oxford, like Oxford, Cambridge, or Medicine. You have to send in your personal statement to UCAS by the 15th of October. So you want to make sure that you have completed all of your supercurricular activities by the summer holiday so that during the summer holiday you can write down your personal statement. You know what I'm saying, G? So yeah, bro. From January onwards, do all of your supercurricular activities. Alright? Just get them out of the way. And you don't need a lot. I think in my personal statement, I included like like five super curricular activities lectures articles yeah those were my super curricular activities just lectures and articles like four let four articles and one lecture that's what i included in my personal statement i think but yeah like i said before right now in january just to conclude right now right now in january you should be if you're in year 12 you should be one prioritizing studying and revision in preparation for your summer marks so that you destroy the marks and your predicted AAA at least that I, that's what all of you guys to be aiming for if you're watching me right now you should be wanting to be predicted at least AAA no you should be wanting to be predicted at least let, let me think about the average person in fact, you guys on average, you should be wanting to be predicted at least A star, A star, A. At least A star, A star, A. Alright? So yeah, these summer marks, you have to get at least AAA. All of you. If you don't get AAA in, in the summer exams, in year 12, then you're not called. Alright? You're not called. You're not called, man. All of you guys should be called. So get at least AAA in these marks, in the summer marks. If you don't get AAA, then you're not called, alright? But yeah, man, that's another video, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, at the end of my videos, man. If you grind, you succeed. If you do nothing, you'll stay the same to you, alright? Let's get it, man, let's go.